corner of Myrtle Avenue and Putnam, the street. Just, just a short, maybe 10, 7 minutes from here, a walk. Welcome. Come, uh, we have a, it's a platform. Guys like you, we have a new, uh, young guys uh, just socialize. Is it Orthodox or, or? It's Chabad. Chabad. It's for every Jew. Yeah. It's for most, uh, the 99% of them are there, they're not religious Jews at all. Okay. They have no uh, like uh, religious background, so they can't. Oh, maybe I'll check it out. Right, please check it out. Okay, thank you. Uh, Shabbat Shabbat Shalom, what's Harris. your name? Andrew. 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 Yeah. Andrew. What's your name? Nochum. 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 Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Right. Yeah. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. We have Facebook. You could check. Okay. We have Bar, uh, Ridgewood, right? It's a Jewish center, a Jewish center, Beit Aron. Uh, okay, Beit Aron. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not official Chabad, but it's Chabad. Okay, cool. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. All right, have a good one. Okay. Yeah. Synagogue, you Google synagogue in the region. After Shabbat. Okay. <laughs> Tell the West. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to synagogue. <laughs> of course not. Yeah, all right. Well, can I come? so good. The bones are broken inside. Broke. I've had 37 surgeries to make myself four inches taller. Yeah, well you should have stayed the same how you were because oh. short is in now. Oh, I remember back in the late 2010s, is that what we call, is that what we call the decade? Yeah, back then? whatever, man. I remember when I was five foot eight and they used to say I had Mediocre height at best. Mm. As if I had only known that that would have been, I just would have been a, a fuck machine I in the future. Ah oh. oh, man, I wish I was five foot seven and a half like I was then. But I'm shrinking, as old people are wont to do. And uh, fuck, hate being a geezer, man. I don't get my dick wet hardly ever. Oh no. Except for robots, but that doesn't really count as sex. Sex with robots? Yeah, uh, that's more like playing a video game. Well, I remember back, back in the, the mid to late 2010s, mm. whenever I was playing a video game, I would, I would make jokes about how in Asian countries they were paying people to live inside the games and harvest the rewards and sell them online. So it was the beginning of people living in video games. Ah, uh, those were the those were the good days. Yeah, now people can't get out of the video games. They're trapped. They're like indentured servants, servants, and it's all fucked up. It's almost like the movie The Matrix hit it perfectly. Yeah, Pe most people don't realize that the Matrix is actually what's happening. It's literally a look into into the world as we know. And Keanu Reeves still looks as young as he always did. No, oh, he sure does. <gasps> Fine, my robot heart. You want some heroin? Please, please. Thought crazy. you thought you would never ask. It's like when they found out back in 2017 that marijuana is good for you. Mind if I tie it off on my balls like usual? Yeah, of course. Get right. Nada, you do. Hello. Calling all egg throwers. We got an egg throwing opportunity. How are you? Do you have eggs? Hello? Hello? Hey! I hear there's some people on the street. Uh huh. Come on, let's go. Do you want any 
any time and just go home. <laughs> what are you what are you gonna do? You're not gonna throw eggs at people. No, I'm gonna ask you to throw eggs at people. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I can't wait to watch. Okay. Dude, you have no idea what we've done. And it's, you're right. It's uh You live on the edge. We had a concert in the Domino's. Who played? This is me and my, and my two friends. Okay. We had like a giant box and a vacuum tube. We were playing fake instruments. And I was brought robes. <laughs> <laughs> surreal moments that make you snap out of the monotony of everyday life. Fair enough. I watched Scream for the sixth time this morning, so. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you need to be snapped. It looks like I need I need a, an unsnapping. Yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, can, can I ask you guys a, a question? Would you be willing to throw eggs at me? That's a low raw egg thing. Yo, Scott, yo, take it to Madison. They'll do that shit. I'm oh, serious. I'm serious. Like, out, out there. So I don't want to get this place dirty. Yo, go get the deal. It's from my podcast, you know? It's called Weird Ball. Weird Ball? Yo, no, no, no. Yo, you get more views with a bunch of little kids. Yo, Aki! What? You get more views with a bunch of little kids, though. You think so? Yeah. You guys throw eggs at me? Go ahead, throw all eggs at me. You don't have fun. But you gotta do it like that. Wait till I say, 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 Aim for his stomach. Okay. Get closer. All right. Go. Oh, wait, I have glasses. Okay. Wait, I have glasses in there. Can you get me my sunglasses? Because I don't want to get egg in my eyes. Bro. You gotta hit him, though. You gotta hit him. And you guys stand over there. All right. So where are we? Stand. Everyone stand. Just right there. Well, who's gonna be first right to throw Yeah. Right. And, and move up, guys. Who's gonna be first to throw them? Uh, it don't matter. Just, just throw one going. at a time. Like go in the line. Go in the line. Like a fire yeah. squad. Yeah. Go ahead, go it. Go it, go it, go it. Throw it. Oh. Go it. 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 Alright, thanks guys. You guys are great. <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks guys. My name is. Thank you. Come on. Oh, come on. What's that show? What's that show called? You really? What's it? It's called. What's it called? Weird ball. Oh, hey, yeah. What's it called? Oh, no, What's the show called? Weird ball. Weird ball. Weird ball. Weird ball. Weird ball. I won't do it. Thanks again, everybody, for throwing eggs at our friend. Y'all have a good. She's Louise, man. <laughs> that hurt. That kid got an arm on him. Yeah, yeah that, that last one looked like it hit you good. <laughs> they were like, sure. Yeah, dude, I was. I forgot how fucking great kids are with throwing shit. Oh, dang. Yeah. <laughs> the, the first one missed, but the rest of them were perfect. They were like, I've been waiting my whole life whole for life. this moment. Yeah. To, throw eggs at white guy. <laughs> to throw eggs at this, this white, white guy. guy. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. See, you gotta take risks. You gotta take risks. I totally get that. Well, and you're nice to people and like you to gotta take a shower. Yeah, I do. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> take a shower. Yeah, for sure.
I hope you never need to be an elk ever again. This heroin kind of smells like syrup. Yeah. <laughs> is it? Is it? Is there? Is it spliced with some syrup? Oh, it's real heroin. Well, I know, but like, thought you've been doing this for forty. Years. I have been doing it for forty years, but you never know. They add new strains. I guess what I'm saying is, is my dick smells like syrup right now, and I'm wondering if there's, it's possible, somehow there's a little bit of syrup on my dick as we speak. No. No. <laughs> No, but you put those shades on, it makes me not believe you, okay? The last time you put those shades on was when I was grilling you about fucking Selena Gomez on the way down in the 50s. Selena, Go Selena Gomez, after she got the fourth genetic surgery, mm. where she had the giraffe neck and the octopus arms out of her pussy, that was the best yes. one, and that's when I got to fuck her, so I was lucky. A lot of people said that getting the octopus hands out of her pussy was a huge career mistake, but I always disagreed. I did, too. I did, too. That's when she got Transformers 47, which was the best Transformers. They'll never stop making them until they, until they start losing money. Yeah. You know, uh, just visually speaking, Transformers is amazing. Right. Uh, I think when they reanimated Francis Ford Coppola to direct 35 through 47, mm -hmm. that was the heyday. It really was. It really was. Hey. You remember when uh, when they they changed the NFL so that only the the battered spouses of the players could play quarterback? Right. That was a good. That was a good move. And they genetically engineered them to be like six hundred pounds. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. But like only in the arms and chest. Right. It was. Uh, I was for it. A lot of people were against it, not me. Oh, you're progressive. No one's ever accused you of being anything but. That's true. That's true. Oh. This thing is about time for my nap. Do you, you take it? Do you have any more of that syrup heroin I could shoot into my shoot into my nipples? You know what your dead wife told me. What? What did you tell? She said, "Make sure Eric doesn't shoot heroin more than once a day." Oh. And I promised her. Oh, Duffy. I miss her every day. Yeah. How do you get on? Well, I I think about the times we had. I. Bury myself in an avalanche of heroin-induced nausea. Mm. I wade through my memories like a dead man walking through a swamp in a town he doesn't know. Mm. And then I usually tie off on my nutsack and shoot straight into my dick hole, and then I'm fine. Mm. It's hard. Well, also, I, you know, I have grandkids and stuff. I mean, the days fill up, you know. It's alive. Yeah. I... I wish I had grandkids. Mm -hmm. I, I you trained. lost all of them in the home fire. Yeah, the home fire. That was actually a reality TV stunt that I wrote. Of course. The irony being you forgot to turn on the cameras. It wasn't even captured for the show. And that's what really breaks me up inside. Because mm -hmm. those kids would have wanted to be immortalized. It's... Uh... The ultimate tragedy when your death can't be profited on in some way by the people you leave behind. Or in your case, the people who intentionally set a home fire and forgot to turn on the cameras to capture the home. God damn it. Sorry, I'm bringing up the sadness. Have, I, oh, have one of these, these sour Coke bottles. Can't believe these lasted all these years, but still a popular candy, a Rebo. Just like Bernie Sanders is a popular politician still. He's finally got elected. Only took him running 68 times. <laughs> I, I was a big fan of Sanders in uh, 20, 2016, in the, the first time he ran. That was when Hillary he, fucked him. She did fuck him. And Thank that, you. Seriously. That's why he Thank allowed you. her to um, steal him his primary wins. Because she fucked him. Yeah. Who would have known? Who would have known that out of all of that, all of that, Chaos, all the liberals complaining about Trump becoming president. The worst thing that happened was that New York City was annihilated in an atom bomb in the year 2018. Yeah, but who would have thought, like, out of all the bitching, that's what came out of it. We lose one city. Give me a, give me a break. It did a lot of good for Westchester's housing market. It really did. Yeah. Now Westchester's the most powerful Bay City in the United States. Yeah. Do you know that 
When they were founding New York City, the Dutch settlers would write home about the smell of New York Harbor. Mm. It was they uh, had the half of the world's oyster population was in the harbor, about one to two billion. Jesus. They worked as a filtration system, and they could literally clean out the water in about 48 hours. <coughs> they used to call Ellis Island Little Oyster Island. Of Liberty course. Island was Great Oyster Island. Uh, True story. Uh, that's why all the fucking people, all these fucking immigrants came. Mm. And now America is, you know, there's almost no white people left. Just us. In a way, it's good, though. Yeah. Less white people. Yeah. Less, less fat people. That's for sure. Less, uh, Serial killers. Now there's a mandatory weight, thank God. Can't be above, you can't be obese in the BMI or else they shoot you. Well, one sad thing is that with the, there's basically no emo rock left. Yeah. It's almost completely gone. Well, thank God for that. Speak for yourself. I grew up on that music. Ooh, the cure? No, come on. Ooh. I'm talking. <laughs> Talking Taking Back Sunday. I'm talking TBS. Talking Yellow Card. Who the fuck is Yellow Card? Who the fuck is uh, Only One? You ever heard Only One? It was a big hit in like 2008. I don't even know if I'm hearing you right now. Yellow Card. They, there's a guy that plays violin in Yellow Card. He goes, and then they sing about their ex girlfriends. You don't know who yellow card is yeah, I'm just about time for don't my nap don't tie off on heroin I'm just not right now it. it's time for my nap I'm gonna drink the heroin this adds to more suspicion that there's some syrup in that heroin because mm. it usually doesn't taste good as heroin itself Trump good night sweet prince Good night. Hey guys, we're about to meditate. We are about to meditate. We're about to do a Qigong meditation. You guys, you guys do Qigong? I'm rolling. You rolling? I've done Qigong before. All right, so what you need to do is get a good posture, have your toes pointed somewhat, like barely inward. Um, and then have your hips angled downward so the, your back is flat, not curved. So they feel your back. Make sure your hips are tilted forward so your back is rounded slightly. Uh, kind of like your knees above your toes? Yeah, exactly. Your knees a little bit, not quite, like, yeah, it's bent though. Just as relaxed as possible that you can still stay standing. All right, let's put down the mics because we got to use this thing. So just talk up. Speak loud. Okay, all right, so now make a, like you're holding a big balloon. And try to keep your shoulders as relaxed as possible. And just let, like, try to let energy flow up from the ground into your head, through your legs, up your abdomen, into your chest, through your neck, into your head, and then through the top of your head, up into the sky. Believe it or not, Dragon Ball Z is the reason I know about this. Oh yeah. It really, really is. Qigong, man. This is a real Qigong meditation. Except for all that shit about, well, I don't know, some people believe the energy comes from the earth, and, but I, I don't necessarily. I, I, I mean, I don't believe, this was like years ago. Yeah. I did this. There's a, there's a kitty cat. There's a cat in here? Yeah, there's a kitty cat, yeah. Hey, buddy. Okay, hey. so now what I want to do is chant the thing that we're focusing on. Okay, so... In whatever pitch that is natural to you, we're going to start chanting the thing we're focusing on. So let's first focus on our thoughts. 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 Now try to see your thoughts clearly. When you say thoughts, actually focus on your thoughts. And if you notice you're thinking, just relax around the thought and let it go. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Now let's move to feelings. Feelings, feelings, feelings. 
now let it go to your navel chakra. This is the center of your desire to do things in the world, to make things happen. It's your focus of movement and doing. So we're going to say doing. Right. Sonnets a little bit. Uh, sonnet is very common in the Renaissance time period. Uh, it's made up of three quatrains and one rhyming couplet, uh, usually written in iambic pentameter, especially if it's a Shakespearean sonnet. Uh, another famous type of sonnet is called a Petrarchian sonnet. Uh, it comes from the Italian word sonetto, which means a uh, little song or something like that. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and I am is is like an, a stressed and then an un no, it's a unstressed and then a stressed syllable. Mm -hmm. So like good night or goodbye. In a Shakespearean sonnet, which is what we're going to be doing today, there's uh, five little I ams, uh, which is a stressed and then an unstressed. Sorry, an unstressed and then a stressed syllable uh, in one line. 
uh, and that's going to be put together. So the rhythm is dum 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 dum, and then that's it. So now we're going to make a couple sonnets. So okay, any questions about the sonnets? I mean, I have a million questions. I just don't know if they'll ever be answered. <laughs> Because this is supposed to be rhyming, right? Okay. So the first two lines rhyme, then the second two two lines rhyme. Right. And third two, and fourth two. So it's like there once was a man named Andrew. He had a podcast that was see through. He yeah, put in the sure. work. He looked like a jerk, no. and then he. Ended a up. That's a limerick. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not a your jerk. I was just grasping for straws. So it's six pairs, or no wait, five what? five pairs, and then a rhyming couple. Okay, yeah. So, we know. so it six pair, because it's fourteen. Yeah, but it's it's groups of four usually. So it's three like, groups of four. Yeah, so it's like A B A B, you know, C D C D E F E F, and then G G. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do it. All right, and the, the have at it, Hoss. The final cu couplet is like a volta, so that's just like sum it up or be like yeah. a turn of the whatever you're talking about. You know, like those should be a sharp turn. Sure. It's like the punchline of a joke. They're right? incredibly hard to write, just yeah. like in general. Well, that's what we're doing on the fly with yeah. Yeah. confused explanation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I saw a cat perched upon a leg. The leg belonged to a man named Shiny Greg. He whittled a spoon of a branch of cedar wood mm -hmm. and he whittled it, and whittled it, and whittled it, and whittled it good. Mm. The cat meowed and started to hump his foot, but luckily he was wearing a very thick boot. Mm. And when Greg realized the cat had come, he started playing a little fill on his drum. Ooh. But inside the drum was a mess of kittens. And, uh, oh god. What, whose last name? Who's Hitchens? Who's Hitchens? Christopher. Yeah, who, who is he? It's a famous atheist. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> and then that led him to eschew Hitchens. <laughs> okay. okay. Great. Uh -huh. So this is like sonnet off. <laughs> yeah. stand there no, it's not a competition. Oh, it's not. Oh. No. Andrew asked me to come to a podcast in his basement. When I got here, I didn't know what the look on his face meant. <laughs> I had many questions, none that he could answer. And then when it started, I thought, this is entertainment cancer. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to try to, like, uh, co-author one? Sure. All right. He got in the car and started to drive down the road. Eventually, he came upon a toad. A toad, you see. I almost did hit it. But, nah, man, I didn't hit it. I'm with it. For some reason, he decided to start rapping. Uh, that's because it's the art of bullcrapping. His words didn't make sense, but I wanted to hear more. But unfortunately, I'm very poor. The toad, you see, released a big toxin. And that's the art of chess boxing. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... The toxin had started to seep into his brain. And unfortunately, the rain in Spain <laughs> falls mainly on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just stop. Here, <laughs> this is falling to get very meta. <laughs> Thank you for watching, Weird Ball. From now on, the long videos are going to be on Patreon, so if you want to support the show and watch the long vid, please do there. 
And then you can watch the short vids on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and then listen to the long episodes on the iTunes and the Wearboat.com and the Google Plays and the... Oh, God. I just did the Cosby. Cosby, uh... Whatever. I'm not awake, okay? Why should I be? It's fucking 7.30 in the morning. Anyway, thanks for watching.